Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Red Hat Summit 2016. Brought to you by Red Hat. Now, here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Welcome back. We're here for the final wrap up of day three of three days of coverage at Red Hat Summit 2016. You've been watching SiliconANGLE Media's flagship program, The Cube. We go out to all the big enterprise shows, help extract the signal from the noise. Uh, Brian, it's the 12th year of the show. It's our third year doing The Cube here. Uh, what, what's your big takeaway so far? Uh, big takeaways for me, you know, a growing community, uh, lots of positive energy. The, the feedback from everybody was they liked the balance between Red Hat technology, community technology. We saw a lot of really interesting just projects. Everything from, you know, JPL taking people to the moon, we saw cancer research, we saw, you know, a little bit of everything in between, which is, is inspiring. So there was a bit of technology, a bit of inspiration, a bit of community, pretty, pretty interesting balance all week. Yeah, let, let, let's start, uh, start with the company itself. So Red Hat, they, they've done over $2 billion worth of revenue last year. What, they, they think a $12 billion valuation for the company. At their core is Linux. Yep. It's, you know, RHEL, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux. It's been uh, the you know, core of what they've been doing for a number of years. And what I, I like about the strategy is they've got a bunch of things they're adding onto it. And most of those, they, they pull the, you know, the Linux piece into it, uh, extending the value of Linux, extending open source. Uh, it's good strategy, limited strategy, what, what's your take? Well, you know, I think, it's, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, um, you know, obviously we're seeing, uh, you know, Linux become more and more prevalent. I mean, we heard uh, the folks from, from HPE talk about banking applications moving off of mainframes. So, you know, the trend is more and more things moving to Linux, whether it's software-defined networking, software-defined storage. Uh, but at the same time, we're also seeing more and more applications moving into the public cloud where they may use other choices for Linux. So, uh, I think it's a strong, it's building off of strength. Uh, you know, Paul Cormier yesterday talked about, you know, you ha if you want to be in Containers, you've got to be a Linux provider. Uh, so they're building off their strength. The puck is kind of coming towards them, as, as Dave likes to, to look at. Um, so I think, it, I think it's a good strategy. I think it's the strategy they have to have. And over time, we'll see how some of these you know, additional things pan out in terms of revenue and in terms of reach. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, containers, 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 developers, developers, developers. Um, you know, Red Hat talked about a lot of, about both of those this week. Uh, as you said, the, the Gretzky quote, you know, skating to the puck. Uh, most customers, you know, is the messaging a little bit ahead where customers are? Yes, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, you know, what do you, the, the, the message though that basically, you know, Linux and containers go together. As you, Brian, look at, you know, 12 factor applications, microservices and things like that, does Linux matter? Does the operating system matter? Can those two be pulled apart? Is, is that you know, a potential uh, you know, danger for Red Hat down the road? Yeah, I mean, technology-wise, you don't necessarily have to link your container technology to your OS. I think in reality, as you start to look at operation-wise, you know, we heard a number of stories about how do I secure it? How do I do patch management? Uh, how am I going to do operations? Uh, you know, what, what are the, what's the tooling around that? I think the reality is we hear from customers all day long. I want things to be simpler. I want less friction. Um, the roll your own sort of container model is going to struggle just like we've seen roll your own converged infrastructure, roll your own private cloud. I think it gives them a very strong position um, and we'll see where that goes. But customers want simplicity. They want stuff to just kind of work. Yeah, uh, you know, one of the things that gets, always gets a lot of headlines, it's, it's the cloud wars, it's the container, you know, who's real, who's imitation, who's <coughs> unbreakable, who's unfakeable. Um, there's a little bit of that at this show, but for the most part, uh, it, it is a strong ecosystem. You don't hear kind of, uh, you know, uh, some companies you go in there and it's like, ah, oh, they're, they're gouging me on licenses, you know, customers are fighting it. Um, you know, what, what, what are some of the kind of those undercurrents and that, that you hear? Yeah, this isn't a show that you have a lot of really distinct religious battles. I mean, I guess of any religious battle, it's, you know, we want you to believe in open source, uh, which, uh, you know, again, it's a trend that's, that's proliferating. Um, you know, there's, there's obviously a little bit of competition that, that Red Hat acknowledges. They're competing with Docker. They're competing with uh, Pivotal Cloud Foundry, the Cloud Foundry uh, Foundation. They're competing with, with the web, which is, you know, essentially, or not the web, uh, public cloud, which is competing with all of IT. So uh, they've got large competitors uh, to a certain extent, some trends. They've got some tailwinds behind them. But at the same time, they've also got, you know, 
they're only a $2 billion company versus you know, a $100, million, $100 billion Microsoft or a $100 billion Oracle. So you know, they are who they are. I think they're comfortable with who they are, uh, but you know, they've got challenges as well as opportunities. Yeah, um, you know, Brian, you've been spending a bunch of time looking at the cloud native pieces. Uh, you know, give us your assessment. You know, how, how's OpenShift stacking up? You know, are they making good progress? You know, the thing I've been looking at, and we look at this every time we go to an open source driven event, is where are the customers? Are customers paying for the technology or is it just proof of concept? I think the thing I heard this week with OpenShift was uh, we're seeing more customers, we're seeing customers deploying things in production, we had a number of them on here. Um, are they huge numbers yet? No, not yet. Uh, you know, PaaS is, is always lagged behind IaaS to a certain extent. Uh, but I think as, as you look at, at the OpenShift ecosystem of, of technology partners, the customers, I think it's, it's growing in strength and I think it's growing in you know, not just its maturity, but customers feeling comfortable saying, I can put applications on those types of platforms. Yeah, um, so many good guests, Brian. I oh, mean, yeah. you know, it, it, it's one of those, you know, so we have our guest of the week, we have our Women in Tech Week. There's, there's too many, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, <clears throat> you know, just riches of, of guests here. Uh, you know, the JPL guys, the Women in Innovation, uh, you know, lots of great customers doing really cool things. What, yeah. what jumped out at you? I think you're right. I think, I mean, we get, we get a chance to do a lot of really good shows and, you know, they're like, they're like your kids, you don't love one more than the other. But this week was this really interesting mix of, of inspirational people, you know, like we said, going to space, helping to cure cancer, uh, you know, communicating with doctors. But then we saw people saying like, look, I'm running mission critical applications, I'm running banking applications and transportation applications. There was a lot, there was a lot of sense of reality to this show. There was this mix of reality and inspiration, which, you know, we, we're joking around, we're out here in the heart of Silicon Valley, the TV show Silicon Valley is making fun of certain things, but there was a lot of reality this week and, and I think, in a crazy technology world we work in, that's, that's refreshing. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's, it's funny. Uh, the, the community uh, and uh, the, the participation uh, you know, is definitely something that, that it comes through here. You see people uh, you know, get engaging on things, uh, you know, talk, talking about uh, you know, lots of ways that they actually participate and that it, it proved it, it's not just lip service. I mean, right. you know, you know, absolutely Red Hat is committed to open source um, and you see the kind of the way that they, uh, you know, it, it goes back to what Jim Whitehurst said. They're not looking to lead it, they're looking to catalyze it. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think, you know, the thing, this, this whole week has been, has been very interesting. You know, you always look for, uh, you know, sort of check boxes and so forth. Um, you know, if, if we look at, at Red Hat, I think portfolio-wise, uh, their, their portfolio is, is getting very broad. It covers a lot of areas. The partners that they, they're working with, uh, you know, like, like for example, we've been at previous shows, John Furrier and I said this at DockerCon, you know, it wasn't completely clear from a Docker perspective how they want the ecosystem to act. Red Hat is very clear with their ecosystem how they want them to act. They want to meet together upstream, work on open source, and then they're going to bring products to market. So, you know, you got a sense of who they want to be, how they want the ecosystem to, to in, interact with them, and, and, you know, we heard over and over again from customers, whether it was on screen or off, they like that they get a chance to collaborate with each other and, and with Red Hat. Yeah, uh, and actually just uh, from you know, our team standpoint, this is the third year we've done this show. It's a great partnership. Anybody that was at the show, we've got a you know, phenomenal location right here in the lobby of Moscone West. Uh, people, when I'm walking through the, boo the, the booth area, they're like, oh, the Cube's here, and you guys, you look like game day. Uh, so you know, it, it is Red Hat sponsorship that brings us here, but they understand uh, the, the independence of what we're doing, uh, and they are comfortable with what they're doing to allow us uh, to, you know, engage with their customers, engage with their partners, and, and share the stories, uh, the open source stories. Uh, your, your friend Lee Day uh, working yeah. on these, some really cool things where they're creating documentaries um, that aren't focused on product, um, but about you know, that, that broader mission of, of open source itself. Yeah, it, it, was an it was an inspiring week. We saw a lot, of, a lot of good things come out of here. Sometimes we hear about technology and it's about you know, getting rid of jobs or, or you know, changing industries. This was really about a lot of positive things. I think Lee's team should be commended for that. I think just the overall community, not just Red Hat, but the whole community wanting to come here, talk about their stories, wanting to share, uh, that's a great thing. Yeah, so uh, as we come to a close, I, I want to give a big thank, shout out to the whole SiliconANGLE media team. Uh, we've been doing uh, a bunch of shows uh, you know, already this year, have many more on tap. You go to siliconangle.tv, you're going to see a list of all our upcoming shows, as well as the event pages for all these shows. So uh, just as you watch, if you watch this show live uh, from that SiliconANGLE TV page, the replays are all there. I, I know the team down in Santa Clara 
Clara is wrapping up Hadoop Summit. Uh, we have a few good shows coming over the summer. Uh, I'm going to be at an MIT show. We've got an AWS, uh, you know, regional event, uh, in forums coming on. Uh, by the time we get to the end of the summer, there's VMworld, and boy, we have a big schedule come up, coming up in the fall. Um, but, you know, so much content, and really appreciate uh, everyone that's been watching our program. Uh, you know, always feel free to reach out to us. You know, give us your feedback. Tell us what shows we should be at, what guests we should have on, uh, any other tips uh, that, that you have. So, uh, once again, thanks so much for watching everything. Uh, we are a wrap here from Red Hat Summit 2016. You've been watching theCUBE. Thank you.